Would you like to find out how you could grow your IRA exponentially by using real estate? Well, today I'm going to talk about my own personal experience using a self-directed IRA that enabled me to grow my IRA by 1,300% in six years. I filmed this yesterday during an open house, so you're going to see I'm standing outside, which I don't usually do, but it was kind of drizzly out and I didn't have a lot of people stop by, so I had plenty of time to film. But stick around because that's what we're going to talk about today. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Krista Tarns and I'm a realtor here in Central Florida and I've been selling real estate for about 11 years. And if you're at my channel for the first time, please feel free to click subscribe. I do weekly videos on things related to real estate, generally living and working and buying homes in the Central Florida area. And today we're going to take sort of a digression from that and talk about investing in real estate using an IRA which is called a self-directed IRA. Let's start with the very, very basics. An IRA is an individual retirement account, and there are different types of them. The one that I had was called a Roth IRA, and I had lived in Eastern Europe for 10 years, and I wasn't contributing much to it. I think I had a little bit from when I had worked in the States before I moved to Eastern Europe. And so when we came back to America and I was looking at my Roth IRA, I would kind of log into it, take a look at it, and, and it kind of gave me some anxiety because it wasn't growing at all. And I remember thinking one day, gee, I wish I could invest that money myself. You know, it was held in a bank. It was invested in things that I really didn't understand or have any control over and it, it just was bothering me because I knew it wasn't growing and I felt like I could make it grow more if I could just buy a rental property with it. So I remember one day, again, I didn't know anything about this and I still really don't, but I called the bank and I talked to a financial advisor and I said, gee, can't I do something with this money? Can I use it to buy a house or something and a rent, like rent it out a little bit? And they explained to me that no, that's not legal. You can't do anything like that. It has to be invested the way that we invest it. And I kind of put this in the back of my mind and then at some point I got an email with the headline about a self-directed IRA and come and take a class on it. So I signed up for the class and it was exactly what I had been trying to find. A self-directed IRA means that you can use your IRA to invest in what you know best. There are some caveats. You can't use the product that you purchase with it. So if you're going to invest in a home, you can't live in the home. You can invest in other things, gold or fine art, or I even heard you can buy a racehorse with it, but you can't use that horse. So it has to be an arm's length transaction. In my case, since I used it to buy real estate, I cannot pers personally do the work on the house. I can't live in the house. I can't collect rent from the house. It all has to go back into the IRA and any expenses for that house have to come out of the IRA. So here's what happened in my circumstance. I had a very, very small amount of money in my IRA, which I immediately moved over to a different custodian away from the financial institution that had it before, waited a bit until I found a property that I could afford. Now, this was like six years ago, so property prices in Central Florida were super low in many cases. So I waited until I found a really, really great deal on a bank owned property and I bought it. What money was left in the IRA, or I may have made a small contribution to the IRA that year. I used that money to have the home fixed up. So I think I had to like put down a new floor. Um, of course it had to be painted. I had to have a tree removed and I had to redo the kitchen. So that was pretty much the full extent of it. And I sold it for a little over three times what I paid for it. Of course I, you know, put some money into it, but nonetheless, it was roughly a three times, I sold it for about three times what I paid for it. So then I had a much larger sum of money in that account. Again, all the money go, all the money used for the repairs came from the account. All the money that I made went back into the account. And by the way, I'd, you don't have to pay capital gains tax on it, which is also great. I had three times as much money in there and I waited to find another good property. So at some point I found another property came for sale on a website called Hubzoo because I wasn't only looking on the MLS, I was looking on auction websites as well. And if you don't know about Hubzoo, I already did a video on that and I'm going to put a link to it so that you can watch that video and be educated about what Hubzoo is. So at some point, a duplex came for sale and it was not far from where I live. Because it was inhabited, it had tenants in it, it was not for sale on the MLS. They keep those off of the MLS. So nobody really wanted this property because who knows what kind of a situation you're getting. You don't wanna buy something and then have to evict people immediately. And it was a strong buyer's market then. You know, Properties were sitting on the market for a long time. Prices were really, really low. It was a very, very strange time in real estate. So since I lived close by, 
I had the opportunity to meet with the tenants. I would see them, you know, loading their groceries in the house from their car or something like that. And I just stopped by and said, hello, what's the situation? And, and they were super nice. And they said, well, the bank told us that we don't have to pay rent right now, but we're going to have a new owner soon. And then we will have to pay rent again. So I knew that I wasn't really walking into a hostile situation. I wasn't going to have to do an eviction. Both sides of the duplex were extremely happy to be living there. And so I bid on the property again, because it wasn't widely advertised and because it had tenants in it, not many people bid on it. In fact, I think there was only one other bidder. And so I won the property. Hubzoo did not accept my winning price. They actually countered me at a higher price, which I was really, really upset about. The price was absurdly low. If I think about it today, I'm so glad I went through with the purchase. It used up almost all of what I had in the IRA, but it was totally worth it. Both sides of the duplex continued living there. As they moved out over the years, I then renovated them and um, put a new roof on the property. So it, it needed a little bit of work, but it was a super great purchase. Now I have not, I saw somebody else made a video where they said they had started off with $20,000 and now their IRA was worth $2 million. That's not the case, but my IRA is definitely... The value of my IRA has now increased 13 times and some of that is because I've been collecting the rent over the years. A lot of it is simply because the property values have risen so much that that has led to a great increase in it. So of course that's not cash in the IRA, that's just the assets value and that can fluctuate and we do have to be cautious of that. But in the Orlando market because of the time that I bought when the prices were so so low it has increased greatly. And that is one of the things that I love about being able to invest with a self-directed IRA is that you can invest in what you know. So if you want to get started in real estate you can do that. There are other options for you, but investing in what you know to me has been the real strength of this. So as I mentioned, I filmed that video yesterday at an open house. It was a little stream of consciousness. If you're left with questions, here's my contact information. Please feel free to reach out to me. Also, in the description below, I have set up a link to my calendar where you can set up a Zoom call with me if you'd like to go over this, if you'd like to talk about how you can set up a self-directed IRA or purchase investment property in the Orlando area. You can also use this to buy short-term rental property. Eventually, I will be making a video about my experience with Airbnb, so we can talk about that too, but please feel free to reach out to me however you prefer. Thanks again for watching, and I'll speak to you soon.